G'day everyone, this evening I've made my way out to one of my favourite yabbying dams to see if I can catch a few yabbies using the meat and string technique. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now I've already gone and tied some fishing line to three different spots. I've got some at the end of that bit of grass there. I've got one right here and one just up there. None of them are baited up yet. I'm going to tie a little bit of meat to each one and just throw it out and then I'm going to watch them and wait for the line to pull tight. It's sort of like fishing. And then I'm going to scoop them with this butterfly net. The line I'm using is just some sort of cheap 10 pound line that's been in my shed for years. And the meat that I'm using, I bought some off cuts at Woolies today in Wangaratta. It's uh, some kind of beef, diced, something or other. It was marked down because it was going out of date. But I haven't got any sinkers with me, so I might just have to trim off some of the fat before I tie it under the lines. Anyway, I better get trimming and then get the lines in. Last time I went yabbying in this dam, I hit the mother load. I caught heaps of yabbies with open top lift nets. But since then, we've had a lot of rain. We've had three or four big storms that have filled the dam up with fresh water and that can turn the yabbies right off. Hopefully it hasn't on this occasion. Last time I was here, this was all dry. And now look, I'm gonna be sitting here with my feet in the water all the grass here is underwater. We've had so much rain. Hopefully that hasn't shut the yabbies down. Let's get the lines baited and find out. Well, this is the meat. Hopefully uh, hopefully it's not too buoyant. I did trim the fat off. Right now, hopefully, let's do a couple of granny knots here. Doesn't need to be anything flash. Hopefully that sinks. Yep, beauty. Straight down like a stone. Perfect. Right, how, uh, how long's my string? How long's a piece of string? Well, that one's about that long. Right, line number two can just go out there. Line number three is right up here in the corner. Line number three over there on the edge of that shade, I reckon. Perfect. Right, now all three lines are in. I'm not after huge amounts of yabbies tonight. Now, I know there are some very large yabbies in this dam. So just anywhere between six and a dozen, anywhere between half a dozen and a dozen quite large yabbies just to enjoy in front of the television while I relax would be about perfect. Oh, that's a bit odd. Maybe I need to be closer to the bank. I'll try down there. Oh, nothing. Well, there was something on that then. There was something really small. I don't know that it's still there or not. There was a really small yabby on there. Then I felt it kick when I, uh, when I picked it up. I don't know whether it's still there. I don't think it is. But that's a good sign. That is a good sign. No, you let go. You let go, but that is a very good sign. I can't even see this line. Oh, there it, it's pulling tight, I think. I think it is. Yes. Yes, there's something on this line. That's either a nice size yabby or it's two. Oh, no, it's not all that heavy now. It was heavier a minute ago. I don't know what's going on here. It's moving around. Oh. There was something on it. The fact that it was up there tells me there was something on it because I threw it out there. I'm getting some signs. Give me some kind of sign, yabbies. Oh, yeah. Right, let's check these lines. I reckon this one's had a bite. It has. Look, I threw that up there and now it's out there in the middle. See, it? It's, something's pulling on it right now. Right, there's a yabby on here. Oh, I can feel it. I don't know that it's a big one. It's not a tiddler. A tiddler yabby. I don't know that whether it's a big one, like I want uh, at least half a dozen nice big ones to eat, but I don't know whether this is going to be big enough to be one of them. But we'll have a look, because we're about to find out, I think. First yabby coming right up, and we'll I'll be alright. Well, he'll do, I'll throw him in, as long as it's got no eggs. Well, that came from over there, but took the meat over there. Right, first one, let's go and have a look. Not as big as I was hoping for, but still, you'll do. I can always put him back if I can get a few larger ones. Mate, let go of the net. Here we go. Let's get a yabby wet, like a yabby silhouette. <laughs> First one. 
No eggs, not big enough, but he'll do for now. Wow, look at this line, Amy. Just put it in, now it's gone really tight. Something must have grabbed it straight away. Oh yeah, there's a yabby on here. How's that one looking? The same. There's something on here, but it's not overly big. There was something on here before, remember? I said I got a half way in and it let go. This had only been back in about probably 40 or 50 seconds. He's still on there, I think. He's still on there and got him. Number two. I think he's bigger than the one I kept already. Still not a huge yabby. Cool. I knew I shouldn't have done that. No, it ain't going there. <laughs> Not the biggest yabby, and he's got quite a soft shell. Not super soft, but it's... That's why he looks so clean. He's got a new jumper on. He's got new clothes on, you know. That's why he's, his shell's a bit soft, because it's not old. I'll put him in for now. Still hoping for an upgrade. I'd love to catch one or two really big ones, because I've got my yabby brag mat with me, and so far, I've, I've uh, measured a Murray Cotter on it, a little one. I've measured silver perch on it, and I've measured a few yabbies, but the biggest one's only been 18 centimetres stretched out. To put that into perspective, I reckon these would probably be only 16 or so if you'd stretched them out. I know I can do a lot better than 18 centimetres. I want to get some big ones just so that I can uh, put it on the brag mat. Let's see what's happening with this line. It looks to be a bit tight, but it hasn't moved. Yeah, no, there's, it's tight for a reason. It's very heavy. There's oh, sorry, it's, there's something on there still. It's not as heavy as it was. I wonder maybe if there's a yabby on here now and it took it down a hole. And that why, that's why it might have been heavy, perhaps. When this dam's low, there's a lot of yabby holes around the edges of it. That's what made me decide to come here to start with. So maybe when there's so much fresh water in after the rain like there is now, maybe they go down their holes and they can smell this meat so they're coming up out of the holes. I really don't know, but I'm going to catch this yabby. Yabby. Not a bad one. Not a big one, but not a bad one. So yabby number three, probably the biggest one I've caught today. Still not a record breaker, but at least I'm getting a few. Now I know there are some larger yabbies in here. It's just a matter of uh, me finding them. I don't think there's anything on this. It's MT. Oh no, wasn't there two? There was two or three real small ones on there then. There was a couple of real little ones. Are any still there? I got one. There was one flicked off and I think there was still two on it. Big enough to make me squeal a bit of your bites, but not big enough to keep. There you go. I reckon before there were some small yabbies on this line. That just confirms it. Yes, there's something on here. I hadn't pulled tight, but I thought I might just check it. You know, if the yabby grabs the meat and then walks back towards me, well then that's going to make the line go slack instead of tight, and I reckon that's what's happened here. I'm getting a few, I just can't find any of the big ones that I know live in this dam. I think I've got two! <laughs> Neither of them are overly huge, but I've got two. The Daily Double. Down there's where it's all at. I might uh, just turn them upside down and let them fall in. They're not huge. Come on, let you get. Sometimes if you dip it in the water, they'll just let go and try and swim off. And sometimes they don't. <laughs> go, you stupid things. Gone. Gone, but not forgotten. They're in the bucket. When I was on my way here today, I saw two cows in the paddock talking to each other. Two of those black and white cows. The first cow says to the other one, Have you heard about that mad cow's disease? It's really bad. And the second cow said, Oh, I was reading about it. I'm so glad that I'm a penguin. This line has been in for about 
two minutes. I've just gone to change. I'm, I'm swapping the meat over. I thought I'll pull it in. It's reef hand in real fast. And there was a yabby on the end of it. Is it still there? <laughs> and yep, look at that. <laughs> I was reefing the line in really quickly to put fresh meat on. I might as well just leave it there. I was pulling it in and I'm thinking, if it was a little bit heavier than normal, is there a yabby on it? And sure enough, I saw this black yabby. <laughs> Into the bucket. Now, I've lost count of what's in the bucket here, but I reckon it's probably going to be 10 or so yabbies. But they're not as big as I was hoping for. I've caught bigger yabbies in this dam before. That's always the goal when you're after a feed of yabbies to catch big yabbies. The bigger, the better. Now, in a uh, comment I got on a recent yabbying video, some guy was having a real sook because I wasn't just catching massive yabbies. He said, uh, I must bring you bad luck because every time I watch you don't catch many and you waste your time and mine. <laughs> I started typing and I said, would you like a tissue? And then I didn't, I thought I'd better be mature and I deleted it. But I did say to him, this channel, Robbie Fishing, is a vlog channel. A video log. It's a video log of my adventures. Some are good, some are bad. Sometimes I don't catch any, sometimes I catch a few, sometimes I hit the jackpot. It's not a highlight reel. This, this channel isn't a highlights channel where I only show you the biggest and the best. I don't want to portray fishing as being something that I can just go out and catch monsters every time I go out. That's not realistic and it's not practical. This is designed just to be a... Uh, just to be a video log of my adventures. Sometimes I, uh, I have good days, sometimes I have bad days, just like every other fisherman. So if you want to see channels where you only see heaps of really big fish get caught all the time, there's plenty of elitists out there that you can follow. You don't need to follow me. But if you want to see a, uh, a typical Aussie bloke just coming out at the end of a hot day and catching a few yabbies and having a laugh and a bit of fun and sometimes I fall over and, and whatnot, then you're in the right spot. Right, I might do two more little checks of these lines. I'll check them now, then I'll give them 10 minutes, then I'll pull them out. This one's actually very tight. I think there might be a, a yabby on here. Please give me a big one. Very tight. It's wrapped around stuff. Where is it? It's way over there. Whatever it is has gone right back into the shallows. Look at that. It's wrapped around all that grass there. Look. Have I still got the yabby on after all that? It's coming through the grass. I reckon the yabby's still on there. It doesn't feel very big if it is though. I can't really feel any. Yeah, you know, just felt a bit of resistance. Might be an okay sized one, this one, if I'm lucky. And the biggest one of the night. <laughs> You'll be out here. Save the best till almost last. It can be a bit dangerous. No eggs, beauty. Alright, there we go. The biggest one of the night on the second last check. Where is the string? Well, there it is, and it's tight. It's hard up underneath everything. Look, it's wrapped around everything. Whatever it is, I don't think I'm going to get it in. It feels big. I wonder if I can just pick up the line around there. They're certainly grabbing the meat and bringing it back into the shallows. This might work, you know. There's a bit of weight here, but it could be tangled. I don't know. No, it's free. Got him. Yes, a big one. Finally. The biggest one of the day. The two biggest ones have, uh, have just been caught. Now, the biggest one I've measured on my brag mat so far is 18 centimetres. I don't know that this is that big. I'm going to have a look. Right now, because I'm literally sitting in the water, I've got all my uh, important stuff up here. The biggest one I've measured on this Bragman since I got it was 18 centimetres. The biggest one that I've ever caught was I think about 31 or 32. Well, they were huge, those yabbies. Let's get back to that dam. I know there's some big ones in that dam. Right, here we go. Jeez, it nearly got me then. This is a pretty dangerous operation. <laughs> Out. That got him. Oh no, he's a bit longer. He's my biggest one that I've put on this mat. Whoops. Got to be a bit careful doing this. It could become uh, a painful experience, an exercise in pain. Right, stretched out. 20 on the dot. 20 centimetres on the dot. You can see there his claws are touching one end and his tail's up on the 20. 
That's the biggest one that I've caught on this brag mat since I've got this brag mat. But the biggest one I've ever caught, I have caught them that stretched all the way out to 30 centimetres before. Wow. This is a nice yabby in, <laughs> in anyone's books and slightly feisty. Sorry mate, I put you in the bucket, you're getting a bit upset. This is a nice size yabby and slightly feisty, but it's uh, certainly not a really big kahuna, but it's big enough. Most people that caught that would call that a decent yabby. Now because I know people are going to ask, where do you get a yabby brag mate? Decal Evolution. Decalevolution.com.au That's where you get a yabby brag mat. I use it more for small fish like uh, silver perch, redfin, trout even, blackfish. <laughs> that's a, that's a, actually a very handy little brag mat. Let's give my mate Brad Tuckerman a call. Hello mate. G'day Brad, how are you? Good buddy, how are you? Now, I'm not allowed to swear because I've got the camera rolling and you're being filmed. <laughs> so make make sure you speak nice. Say hello to the viewers. Hello, viewers. How are we all? They all said very well, thank you, Brad. Yeah, no, that's right. I agree, absolutely. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm getting a bite, Brad. I can see one of my lines pulling tight over here. Oh, looking You better say see you later, mate, to the audience. <laughs> see you later, guys. No, 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 no. no. I don't want that done properly, please. Oh, see you later, mate. <laughs> all right, Brad. Take care, buddy. I'll be in touch. Oh, mate, totally soon. Alright, bye. Bye. I can see reeds shaking here. Look at how tight this Look at it. It's pulling like mad. Super heavy. Either this is a massive yabby, or two massive yabbies, or a turtle. <laughs> it was great chatting with Brad. He's a wonderful man, Brad. Brad Tuckerman. You lay him on his back and you put a dog on his tummy and he becomes the dog on the Tuckerman. Right. Can barely even see. There's weight here. I'm gonna get another nice yabby here. I reckon if I can see it. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, got him. Yeah, another big black kahuna. Woohoo! Let go. Leave that back out there for a couple more minutes. He's certainly one of the better ones from tonight. Awesome. Where is this line? But the same as before. It's wrapped around everything. And the meat's gone off it. It has too. They've stolen all the meat. I might have been talking to Brad for a bit too long. All the meat is gone. Oh, well, that put an end to that. Right now, it's getting a bit dark, so I'm going to put this torch in my mouth, tip these out. The good ones can go back in the bucket. The small ones can go into the net, and I'll put them back in the dam. All right, let's go. One, two, three, hang on, four, five, six. Right, so I've got me half a dozen. I said earlier half a dozen nice big ones and I'd be happy. And that's what I've got. Let's put it in UV mode. <laughs> the UV light always makes these yabbies go blue. It cracks me up. Anyway, I've got me half a dozen. I still got a line in. I might get another one if I'm lucky. If not, that's pretty much what I was after. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go and check the last line and put these other yabbies back in the dam. Right, I'll tip these last three out. These little ones. Let's check this line for the last time. Be going by feel because I can't see the bloody thing. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, I can feel it. It feels like there might be something on it. No, there's nothing on it. Nothing on it. Well, this has been successful. I've got to admit, I, was, I thought I would have caught a lot more, but I'm not surprised that they're a little bit slow just because of all the rain we've had. I think there's a lot of fresh water in here, and fresh water usually slows them down, but usually only for a little while. Give it another four or five weeks, and I reckon they'll come back on the bite again later in summer, provided we don't get too much more rain. Thank you all very much for watching.